Refinery and petrochemical industrial complexes have a wide range of fixed equipment to process hydrocarbons. Safe operation requires constant management of equipment fitness for service. FinFan and Shell and Tube Exchangers are inspected for integrity using a variety of methods. And discovery of corrosion, tube pitting, stress cracking, localized erosion as examples, may result in equipment repair or replacement depending on the severity of the condition. What if there was a reliable alternative to retube or replacement? Perhaps even a way to alloy up at a fraction of the cost? Let Curran use your existing tubes, then install a liner alloy of your choice without the need to move the exchanger or fin fan from its place in the unit. The installation of a full-length liner or a tube end insert to repair an in-service tube can restore years of operating integrity to the exchanger and is a proven, reliable maintenance practice. Curran International will consult with the client to review the existing operating conditions and confirm dimensions of the existing exchanger, evaluate repair liner alloy options, then expertly install and hydraulically expand partial and full-length repair liner. An important first step is cleaning the existing tube of scale, oxides, and foulant as a result of the operating service. The tube must be clean and clear of debris so that maximum clearances are achieved. For tube partial insert installation, hand tool cleaning at the tube end is adequate surface prep. Curran International offers Grit Blast Tube ID Clean, which achieves near white metal cleanliness. As a turnkey service, it maximizes intimate contact of the repair liner to the existing tube. Tube end inserts are a common repair strategy for exchangers. They can be mechanically rolled at both ends or hydraulically expanded and then mechanically rolled at both ends. Full length liners, however, are a tube end to tube end repair strategy. For FinFan exchangers, technicians working off existing decking install lines down the already cleaned full-length tube IDs. The loosely installed tube will be hydraulically expanded to a calibrated pressure based off the liner material chosen. This will close the annulus between the liner and parent tube. With the hydraulic pump now calibrated, expansion tools are attached at both ends. Tube techs fill the liner at the set pressure and ramp up rate to expand the liner. Once the line reaches a designed expansion dimension, the hydrostatic pressure is immediately released when the bleeder valve is opened. All the installed liners shall be expanded full length. Liners are cut to the existing tube ends and finished to a measured projection. For some alloys, like stainless steel, it is recommended that tube ends be roller expanded. The process can be duplicated for shell and tube exchangers. The clearance required is a liner marginally longer than the length of the existing tube.